Hi, I'm Bradley Greenwell with Academic Technology, and welcome to this MediaSite training tutorial. In this lesson, I'll show how students can create presentations by using the MediaSite Desktop Recorder software. With MediaSite, you can record anything that appears on your computer screen, such as instructional demonstrations and PowerPoint presentations. You can also record audio along with your screen capture, as well as video from your webcam. Instructors can link recordings to Blackboard for their students to view on demand. And students can create presentations that can then be linked to Blackboard course assignments for their instructors to view. To create a new presentation from the My Media Site portal, select the Add Media button. You will be prompted with two options, Record Desktop and Upload a File from My Computer. Record Desktop means that you can make a recording using the MediaSite Desktop Recorder software. Upload a file means that you have already created the media content of your presentation and you want to upload it to the MediaSite server. Both video and audio files can be uploaded to the MediaSite server. Other files, such as a PowerPoint presentation project file, cannot be uploaded to the MediaSite server. In order to present a PowerPoint presentation, a desktop recording must be created. For this tutorial, I will select the option to record my desktop. Type in a name and an optional description of your recording in the appropriate fields. By default, the destination for your media site presentation will be within your drafts folder. Click the Create and Launch button to proceed. A template for your recording will be created and the desktop recorder will attempt to launch. Your web browser may ask for your permission to open the MediaSite Desktop Recorder. You must grant your web browser permission to open the MediaSite Desktop Recorder. From the Desktop Recorder, click the Record Now button to begin a new recording. Choose the type of presentation you wish to record by clicking the left and right directional arrows. For more information about each of these options, please take a moment to pause this tutorial and then select the play button to continue. For this tutorial, I will do a Screencast Plus Video presentation. Select the next button when ready to proceed. The camera size will automatically be detected based on the web camera connected to your computer. The same goes for the camera input. If this is not the correct setting you want, Select the Camera Input drop-down menu and select the appropriate camera. Make sure your image appears in the preview window. The Microphone Input option will automatically be detected based on the default audio recording settings from your computer. If this is not the correct setting you want, select the Microphone Input drop-down menu and select the appropriate microphone. Check your audio levels to make sure they are not too loud or too quiet. Do this by speaking into your microphone at a volume level that resides in the upper green to the middle yellow area. Once all settings have been made, select the next button to proceed. Now we will select the appropriate screen capture area for the presentation. For this tutorial, I will select the desktop button to capture my entire desktop. As an example, my computer screen has a display area of 1600 by 900. I also have two screens connected to my computer. I will select the appropriate screen for this recording. Click the green checkmark button to finalize the region selected. Minimize the MDR preview window so that the window does not appear in your recording. Once you are ready to record, click the red record button. You will be given a 5 second countdown before the recording starts. To tell that you are currently recording, a red pause button will display in the bottom right system tray on a PC. On a Mac, the red pause button will be in the top right within the menu bar. To stop or pause a recording, click the red pause button. When stopping or pausing a recording, three actions are now available. You can choose to discard your recording, resume your recording, or finish your recording. For this tutorial, I have completed making a recording and I will select the Finish Recording button. 
the upload process will begin automatically. You will receive a status notification that your recording has been uploaded to the MediaSite server. You can easily view your MediaSite presentation on the MediaSite server by clicking on the globe icon. When returning to the My MediaSite portal, you will see that your recording is now being processed for playback. Please note that depending on the duration of your recording and how many other users are uploading recordings, this process may take some time to finish. You can refresh the web page to see if your presentation has finished processing. You will know that the process has completed by seeing an image of your recording within the preview window. I would also suggest clicking the play button within the preview window to confirm that the recording plays. This tutorial was developed by the Western Kentucky University Information Technology Division. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact the IT Help Desk at 270-745-7000.